Hey everybody, welcome to Eli's Family Kitchen. Today I am going to make crispy salt and pepper chicken. I gotta warn you, once you take a bite of this, you are not going to be able to stop. Let's get started. First, let's prep the aromatics. We're going to need two green onions and one red chili pepper. Slice the peppers into quarter inch thick pieces and the onions into half an inch pieces. We're also going to need one clove of garlic, finely minced, about one teaspoon. And the same amount of minced ginger. I'm also adding two sweet yellow peppers just because I love the yellow color. This is optional. With the aromatics ready, let's prep the chicken. We're going to need eight ounces of chicken thigh meat cut into one inch pieces. Next, let's marinate the chicken. What we need is a quarter teaspoon of salt and then one eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. So dust the pepper and salt into the chicken and then mix it up. Make sure the salt and pepper are evenly distributed. And then we're also gonna throw in one tablespoon of cornstarch. Oh, this piece is stuck to my finger. And mix it up. It'll get very sticky, but it's okay. The cornstarch will help make the egg and the flour uh, mixture that we're going to make later stick to the chicken better. Next, we're gonna beat up one egg with one tablespoon of water. Pour the egg mixture into the chicken and then mix it up. Next, we're going to make a flour mixture and we're gonna need half a cup of cornstarch and half a cup of all-purpose flour. So just mix the two together and mix it up really well. Now we're ready to fry the chicken. Heat up oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Grab a few pieces of chicken and dunk into the flour mixture. Turn to coat the chicken pieces very well with the flour mixture. Shake off excess and then gently place them into the hot oil. Overcrowding the pan by cooking all the chicken at once will lower the oil temperature too much and it will give you soggy chicken. To prevent this and ensure crispy golden results, fry your chicken in two to three small batches. Fry the chicken for about six minutes until they're lightly golden brown and crispy. While the first batch is cooking, dunk the second batch into the flour mixture and get them ready. Stir a couple of times to ensure even cooking. Get a plate ready for the fried chicken and line the plate with paper towel to absorb excess oil. These look crispy and ready to come out. Now I'm going to fry the second batch.
To finish off the dish, we're going to need quarter teaspoon each of sea salt, white pepper, and chicken bouillon powder. Heat up the wok until it is smoking hot. Add about two to three tablespoons of cooking oil into the wok. Throw in the peppers and green onions. Cook for about one minute until they're soft and slightly caramelized. Cooking stir fries at home is different from cooking at the restaurants. If you want to know how to make your stir fry restaurant quality, check out the link on the top right corner of the screen. In that video, I'll explain why your stir fry tastes different from the restaurants and we'll walk you through step by step what adjustments you need to make at home to get restaurant quality stir fries. Add the minced garlic and ginger to the wok and cook for only 10 seconds. Then throw in the chicken pieces. Give it a quick stir and then sprinkle on the white pepper, sea salt and chicken bouillon powder. Mix it up really well to make sure the seasoning is evenly distributed and it is ready to serve. Plate it and garnish with green onions. Enjoy! Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. It's mine. Wow. <laughs>